Now, uh, I told you that I cannot, uh, every time I, I uh, call virtual dub, every time I'm going to process a file, I need to call it many times. That's because if you try to load the second QuickTime file here, it will crash. If there wasn't this problem, it will it would be just uh, just so simple to, to work. But this uh, this QuickTime input plugin is really uh, on its early stages of uh, development, so actually it's doing a great job. So we cannot complain. But uh, in the future, we won't need all those bad files or anything. You can just uh, load your processing files and tell it to them to process the entire uh, folder. So now, what I'm going to do is, this is the 700, 720p file. I'm going to uh, change the frame rate because this one is 60 FPS, and I want to change it to 24. So, oops. I'm going to frame height change 29 23.973 and okay and uh, compression cineform check if everything is the way I left I'll do full processing mode and I'm going to add advanced refiltering filter I have to add here an input, uh, a stretch, and an output. This is not extremely necessary, but what this will do is that it will convert your uh, also your your uh, audio that was at 60p to 24p it will stretch and it will sound terrible but I just want to leave the audio in the same uh, with the same duration as the video file as the video so I'm clicking OK here and I'm going to save this processing settings as 700 as 720 high yes and now I'm going to add the filter and resize and I'm going to make the same 740 by 360 okay okay and I'm going to save this processing settings and save it as low as I said you can add anything you want here you can add other filters you can add sharpen or some color correction anything you want and save it in the processing settings and Whatever it is that you saved, it will uh, retrieve when you're doing, uh, when you start to do the conversion. So now I'm going to click here and make the conversion and come back in a few seconds. So now I already finished the conversion and now I have on the AVI low field, uh, folder those two files, low resolution. Uh, you can check them here. With media info. This one is uh, 12 megabits per second, 740 by 360. And this one, which was the 720p, uh, it's uh, 24p now. It was 60p, 60 FPS, now it's 24 FPS. So, what I'm going to do is to copy this. Uh, low resolution files to my project low res and the high resolution files to my high res folder or you can also move it doesn't matter okay so now we are using sony vegas i'm going to import my low resolution files to sony vegas and here i have it 640 by 360 and I'm actually using a 1280 by 720 uh, project, so I'm going to sh change this to 640 by 360, 24, and uh, progressive pixels per radio, and the rest is okay. So I can actually save this as uh, low res 70. 
and save it so I can change it anytime I want. Now I can add those files here. I can uh, play them. Uh, it's really a very easy to play file for the, for this uh, this computer. So I'm going to cut it here and add it a little bit. Okay, so let's say I finished my editing and now I want to color grade it or uh, output the high resolution version. So, oh, by the way, never forget to save your projects. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I don't have to close Sony Vegas or anything. You just have to minimize it or open your open another window, because every time you do that, it releases every uh, input, uh, like a FireWire or a MIDI, and release all the files, so you can change anything while it's not in focus. Uh, again, I'm going to come here and change this name. I'm just going to add a underline here. You can do anything. You can just, you just need to change this, uh, this folder name, so Vegas cannot find it anymore. So when we come back, he's going to say, well, what happened to this folder? Uh, I'm going to specify a new location for this file. It was on the low resolution folder. Now I'm going to go to the high resolution folder and add the same one, uh, MVI 160. So here it is. And he also find, found another file on the same folder. So if you had 50 files or more, you could just press yes to all and it will change all the files. So here it is. Now, so you can see that this file is at full resolution and so is this. And now you can uh, render this file at a uh, high resolution or upgrade it, if you will. And you're working in, with a full resolution file. Don't forget to go back to your project properties and set your resolution back to 1080p.